Now I'm going to be discussing uh, three types of shots that we use in editing uh, to further enhance our, our story. And I'm talking about uh, insert shots, cutaways, and POVs. Uh, sometimes they could be used interchangeably, those, those terms, but uh, as I'm going to show you, there, there is uh, a bit of a difference. So let's take a look once again at our short film Overtime. Let's start off with uh, the cutaway. Really, that's what it is. We're cutting away from, uh, say, uh, uh, an environment, uh, a certain, you know, a certain a scene, maybe cut to a different scene, but we're cutting away from a certain space to another one to, say, you know, move forward in time if we want to. Um, you know, we want to, say, compare, uh, say, a certain emotion uh, or a certain feeling. Uh, it can use in, be used in many different ways, but what we're doing is we're cutting away from the main action to, to another shot, right, that tells us a story. So let's take a look now at, at what, how we use a cutaway in this uh, scene from Overtime. I need those reports on my desk by Monday. I keep telling you. Oh, the Chinese guy. No. Awesome dude. Oh. Great actor. We are sitting uh, with our hero here at Ralph at the office. Um, he has to do some work. He's being asked now to work overtime. And then we cut to the next scene, which is at night. He's trying to rush out. And so I'm looking for some type of cutaway or something to help us uh, with this transition from say day to night. So as I'm looking through my footage, I realize that I have this time-lapse shot of the city going from day to night that I'm gonna cut away to and then come back then to the office. And, and by that time, you know, it's nighttime and, and we were able to achieve that transition. So just gonna cut that in. So as you can see there, I chose to use a cutaway to help out with this transition going from in this case day to night. And, and to also show that, uh, you know, Ralph here completed his work and is now uh, time to go home. Now we're gonna jump to the insert. Uh, it's almost call it a, a cutaway, but I'm gonna show you the, the difference with uh, what it is uh, uh, with the insert shot. Again, continuing with uh, the scene of uh, Ralph and Simon talking at the office, just a really small clip uh, or section here from that scene. I'm just gonna play it back. And have some fun, all right? <laughs> Ralph looks back at Simon, then he looks down at something, right? So he looks down at something, but we're not seeing that here, right? So we need to now cut to an insert uh, a shot of whatever it is that he's looking at. So we look back at our script. Um, it reads, Ralph looks a little freaked. He discreetly pockets his wolf head keychain. Now, this wolf head keychain, we see it throughout the film. It shows up quite a lot, so it's important to, to our story. And so we want to make sure that we see it. Now, in this case, uh, we don't see it here. We're going to actually insert that specific shot of uh, the keychain. So going through our footage, it's, it's great to know that uh, a production captured this insert shot, this close-up of uh, Ralph's keychain. And, and now we're going to actually uh, insert it into our timeline so we know what Ralph is looking at. And what dictates uh, that insert shot is Ralph actually looking down, right? We're following his, his eye line, he's, we know that he's looking at something, right, at this point. So, because we're gonna cut to that and we're gonna realize it, that's what he's looking at. All right, so let's watch it back and see how this insert shot uh, helped our story. So there you go, by uh, having this insert shot, now we know uh, what uh, Ralph is looking at. And, uh, and in this case, this, this, this keychain is, is very important to our story. So we gotta make sure that we highlight it in this instance with this insert shot. All right, so let's move on to then our, our last shot here we're talking about, and that is a POV shot, POV insert, point of view. It's basically someone, someone's point of view. What is that person looking at? So let's take a look now at another scene from Overtime. In this case, Ralph and Megan are, are, are stuck in an elevator. Let's just play it back and see where we can cut in a POV shot. Yep. Yeah, I agree. Yeah. <laughs> big plans tonight? No, just a quiet one. Oh, it's a Friday night, big man. Should be tearing up the town. What? Oh. 
No, no. Oh, shit. What do we know here is that, that there is, they're stuck in an elevator, right? And there is a security camera there, right, that's watching them. Uh, she clearly knows that it's there. She, she's laughing at the fact that Ralph is freaking out that they're stuck in an elevator. Uh, but if you go back, uh, at this point in this cut, uh, we did not see that camera, right? It, here, though, we see Megan turn. We have a close-up shot of her. She looks up at something. Now, the next shot, you would think you want to see what she's looking at, but we don't. We don't see that. Just cut back to this two shot, this wide shot. And so we now uh, want to make sure that we tell the audience, okay, she notices that there is a security camera uh, in the elevator. So let's look through our footage. And so we looked at our footage and we realized, yes, we do have a shot of that security camera. And now if we cut that in, we can let the audience know what uh, Megan is looking at. So now if we watch it back. Yeah, thank yeah. you. Big plans tonight? No, just a quiet one. Oh, it's a Friday night, big man. Should be tearing up the town. What? Oh. No. No, no. Clearly see that she notices a security cam there, and, and that's also very important. That element of the security cam becomes important to our story in this uh, scene specifically. Sometimes we'll run into a situation where we are editing our project uh, and say maybe our film or our TV show and say production has shut down. They're no longer shooting any more material. We say, well, we actually could use uh, another shot, say maybe uh, of a city uh, or an aerial shot. And so what do we do? Well, we turn to stock footage. And so uh, stock footage is really anything that was not shot by production so sometimes we need to go out and find that through say maybe a stock library and buy that footage so that we can uh, use in our project so i'm just going to show you an example here where uh, we use uh, stock footage where it was we felt it was necessary we couldn't get it anymore for production uh, and so we decided to then go uh, and look for some stock footage so back to our short film overtime let's just watch this uh section of the scene <laughs> We realized, you know, as we cut the scene, and it works, everything is great, but you know what, we're not, we're, we, at the, I guess as we're going through and, and through the cut and, and, and moving along, uh, we realized, you know what, we, might, we could use kind of more of a wide shot of, of, of the city and kind of get a lay of the land, see where we are at. Uh, but, you know, we say, oh, wow, well, we, didn't, we don't have that. So, well, maybe we could turn to some stock footage and see uh, what we can use to, to, to say, tell the viewer, tell the audience uh, that we are in the city now, right? Uh, especially maybe as a transitional element, element where maybe, say, before that, in, inside in a building, and now we're going outside, and we'll cut to this stock shot of, say, uh, you know, aerial footage maybe of a city or just a, something that establishes, right, where we are at. So let's take a look at what we have. So we have this night exterior shot of cityscape with a lot of buildings and, 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 and traffic whizzing by, which is great because, uh, you know, if it's also our action. Let me show you. I'll just cut that in. If we play it back. Not only are we setting the scene here, we're establishing that now we are outside, we're, you know, we're, we're in the city, we're driving through the city, but it's also great because we have this action of cars passing by and we cut to then now inside the car with our hero Ralph and, and we're driving through the city, so we're in, immersed in this moment, right? But uh, now we know exactly where we are at by using stock footage.